What's up everyone? Welcome to my second tutorial in operating systems using the command line. And in this tutorial we're just going to be uh, not really going over any technical stuff but learning how to change the properties and uh, how to make our command line more useful and uh, a little more pretty. So what people don't realize is when they open the command line they just see this little black screen with gray text and they don't know that they can change it really or they don't know any options since there's not really a menu or taskbar at the top but if you want to get to the properties what you have to do is go up to this uh, title bar right click it and go down to properties or you can just click this little uh, C slash box right there and go down to properties it'll take it to the same place so go ahead and click that and now you can see we have a whole array of options open up to us many of them are uh, pretty simple but some of them are kind of confusing for example the cursor size small medium large or just you know what the cursor is I hope and uh, the large is really easy to see but I prefer the small since it's uh, I don't know I'm just used to it I guess display options of course the window gives you a little window like this right here or the full screen takes up your whole computer screen I suggest working with a window because then when you're looking at your folders in the well just just work a window for now you'll see why later now for the confusing stuff the command history what this is is it stores every command that you want to work with now you might say alright just jack it up all the way well here's the problem with it every command requires memory so once you increase this number it'll also increase the amount of memory so I suggest to leave it right at 50 now this number of buffers what this means is the number of individual histories or uh, each process you want to do so uh, for it in the same rule applies for this so for is also good for right here here and uh, make sure you don't have this checked if it's checked now the quick edit mode and the insert mode F for this you want to work with the insert mode what this does is well the quick edit mode uh, allows you to use the mouse when working with entries directly but um you want to work with the insert mode since when you work with entries directly it messes up in some of the options we're going to be working with so pretty much leave everything on the screen default unless you want to change the cursor size or you want to work with full screen now the font this is pretty option the window preview is just the window this this is pretty much how obvious on this screen the font what font you want to work with I like working with the default because it's easier to see um, you can pretty much figure all this stuff out it's pretty straightforward the layout is a uh, that's where we get in kind of a shady area the screen buffer size is the p is a part of the screen that stores the information this black part right here now the window size is actually the window itself so what if you I know what you're thinking what if you have this buffer size to store the information bigger than the window size itself well if you do that then it makes these little scroll bars at the uh, bottom and sides of it like there is right now it'll make it to the side of it so you can see the information and that's uh, kind of annoying to me so I kinda like to leave this at default in this window position just whenever you open your control panel I mean a uh, command prompt it sh it uh, puts the window where you want it on screen it's a uh, entirely useless because you can just move it with this thing but uh, if you want to change it go ahead now the colors right here are pretty much straightforward as well the screen text it's a gray default I always like to set that to white since it gives a little more contrast in the screen background is this black part right here I'm gonna go ahead and set that to dark blue since uh, just blue and white are my favorite colors it has uh, no effect at all on the coding of your uh, what we're gonna be working with so just go ahead and work with this so uh, pretty much the only thing that isn't straightforward are these options and you could leave those at the far en default anyways but just in case you want to change some things around I just wanted to show you where the command prompt properties things was so once you got everything situated click OK and it says apply properties OK and now you can see all your changes appear so once you have this ready and you have it all pretty and it's ready to go 
you can move on to my next tutorial and we will actually be getting started working with files. Thank you.